Hello, hello. Welcome to the maiden stream of uh, my new existence. <laughs> and yes, yeah, pack development uh, this year. I am working on a pack I've just kind of secretly been plodding away at because of the whole um, hang up with 113 through 115. Um, nothing serious about it, but I thought I would start off today's stream with some of that just to get into the stream nice and calm and slow and do some good good. Um, its code name is Bad Badger. <laughs> oh, thank you for subscribing this year. Thank you so much. Yeehaw. Right, so I'll probably fire it up and show y'all what's going on. It's pretty whip. I've only just started doing the content tweaking, which there will be a lot of if I have anything to do with it. Just gonna lower my own volume here because I notice I keep peeking. That should be better. It's actually been kind of annoying the last few months and part of the reason why streaming is going to be a lot less stressful is um, I was waiting for a lot of um, stuff to happen <laughs> with different games. Um, I was waiting for some mods to sort themselves out with RimWorld and then um, RimWorld 1.1 was announced. So I was like, wow, that's not going to happen. Um, and then I was waiting for a bunch of mods to sort themselves out for Terraria and then uh, Terraria 64-bit was announced and then it turns out that huge worlds don't work on Terraria 64-bit with certain mods. Um, which is really no fault of the mods of their own, but um, it's a really dumb and easy problem to fix. And uh, particular mods, Cataclysm and Enigma, uh, rolling their um, fixes into massive updates, which is taking a long time. And then there's of course Minecraft, which um, I've been wanting to do a pack for for a while um, and was doing a whole lot of really good work with um, uh, Terran Winterblade but um, then 114 was just around the corner so I made the executive decision okay we're gonna redo the pack on 114 this is gonna be exciting and then as soon as 114 lands Mojang's like oh 114 uh, 15's just around the corner and it's like oh please <laughs> Yeah, true if. Um, I'm gonna generate an entirely new world here, just in case. Sure. Good. Yeah, it's um definitely a fantasy pack. There's no tech in it. And I think if I do add any tech, it'll be um resprited to be magical. Like a resource pack will change the, the names and stuff as well. But we haven't got to that point yet. <laughs> We've just got to the point of setting up the world generation, which um, which has been going well. Although I have some big ideas which I which might require me tearing things up. 
Maybe try spelling that right. Uh, uh, this is a good song. Hey Preach, how you doing dude? So good to see you. Yeah, so we got a Bisselcraft, if that wasn't obvious. <laughs> Um, we've got dynamic trees because I love dynamic trees. I've been wanting to do a pack with dynamic trees for the longest time. Um, but this pack has um, also got ice and fire. That's a cyclops over there, I think. Yeah, and that's a dragon. That's quite hilarious, actually, because I've tweaked these spawns so they're quite a lot lower. Um, so it's hilarious that they've spawned together. That's very high luck. Hey Nanian, how you doing? You made it. My morning is great so far. We're six minutes into the uh, official stream. I'm feeling good. Uh, the inaugural new schedule. <laughs> hey Kiwi. Uh, underground biomes. Because I love underground biomes. Some people think it makes the world multicolored, but I think you'll find the world is multicolored in real life. Just a subdued kind of multicolored. So, one of the big things I've gotten here is Grim Grimoire of Gaia 3, um, which is also known as the Monster Girl mod. Uh, but I've trimmed out a lot of the Monster Girls because they actually have a ridiculous amount of really cool monsters. Um, and I wanted to to have those monsters in the pack where it makes sense. So I've also kept the monster girls that make sense. So there's, um, there's dwarves, but um, there's also a very rare chance that a Valkyrie will spawn. Valkyries make sense, right? Um, which is a tier three monster. Grimoire of Gaia works on three tiers. Your tier 1, which is your basics, your tier 2, which you need some equipment for, and tier 3, which you need to be pretty jacked to um, deal with. <laughs> yes, there are still some. So here's a Valkyrie. She's tier 3. She does a minimum of 1 damage. That's quite something I quite like about Grimoire of Gaia, actually. They've got a system where um, monsters will do a minimum of one damage regardless of your armor so you can't just go okay I'm invincible no she's not she's not particularly happy she is a hostile mob after all it will be angry at you um and they also um have a minimum of um one armor or they have a minimum amount of um defense I didn't know that could spawn like that. Okay, that's right. This is 112. This is 112, um, which is unfortunate. That's why I'm, I'm just kind of like tinkering with it slowly. Because I'll jump ship as soon as we actually settle on a, on a proper um, new mod version. I'm eager to jump ship, but um, things have just not been going that way. Mojang has been spitting out versions and people haven't been able to settle. Let's get out of these hills because they've all got the same mob spawning. Another dragon. I need to turn down dragon generation apparently. Which I've already done. And this dragon is derpin. Oh look at that derpin. He doesn't understand dynamic trees. I think that's the problem. He's got beautiful wing pattern though. And it is a he. I have Bewitchment um, Vizier. Which is uh, an ode to witchery except um, made by other people. It's basically all the same stuff. It's just different people making it. Also floating gold. I don't know what to do about floating gold to be honest. I really need to turn down drake nests though. 
like, look at that. <laughs> I've already halved them, and this is what's happening. Now you are hunting a Stimphilian bird, huh? Really pr pretty blue dragons, yeah. Well, yeah, there's the big, 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 big um, dragons which spawn underground anyway. But I do want some hordes above ground because I want character to kind of like think, okay, I found a dragon, it's in my area, but this is something that I'm going to have to like have a saga of gearing up for, you know? Like it's this epic quest to kill the local dragon. Uh, general concept of the pack, it's very fantasy, it's going to be a very, very slow grind. Um, like, I've got Artisan's work table in here, I've already started, like, and all the recipes are going to make sense by George. But, like, you're going to have to make nails and hinges and stuff if you want to make doors and so on and so forth. And I've got Pyrotech in here as well. So it's going to have kind of a very, um, uh, Terra Firma craft feel to it. A fire drake horde in a very odd place. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything about that. Um, oh, here we go. Here's a new biome. Let's see if we can spot any new folks. Say hello, please, folks. It's Peacocks, we've got Animania. Uh, Animania is replacing all the basic mobs. I've turned off though um, drinking and feeding for two reasons. One, um, as much as I'd love for the player to have to feed in, in water there. The heck? Seagulls and ravens together, huh? Cool. Um, as much as I'd love them to feed in water their animals, they also have a large impact in terms of like ticking. Um, so once you actually start having a reasonable horde of livestock, <coughs> um, it starts to have a big impact on the, on the tick rate. Well, I was thinking of letting the tech get up to kind of like immersive engineering, but we'll see. Like, I don't think I've solidified the idea of the pack enough yet. I want to get kind of the base going before I make any big calls like that. But for right now, it's kind of high fantasy. Yeah, that's right, Kiwi. Yeah, Imanif um, just disappeared without anyone knowing why, or where, or how. Um, which is really sad, because Imanif was an awesome modder. Um, and it's not like they weren't in contact with people either. But people inspired by their stuff because it was really cool. Um, Started to bring it back so there's two mods um, one which I'm not so keen on and I haven't put in this pack because I think it's kind of janky <laughs> oh yay I love the hippocampus um wow that rock has a lot of sirens on it um uh, what was I saying bewitchment um, and then the other one is uh, vampirism but I feel like vampirism is kind of implemented kind of jankily, so I don't really want to put it in. And I feel like Bewitchment's going to sort out their vampirism at some point, so. Golems and the Archon board, that's Thorncraft. That is the Thorncraft. No, not that one. Golems and an arcane boar. Oh, 
Oh, I loved Intangible. I kind of wish people were uh, spiritually successing Intangible. <laughs> With orange stuff. Oh, Embers? But that doesn't have golems. Embers doesn't have golems. I loved the idea with Intangible that you could worship a god that was just kind of like made up by the player and then you get benefits and um, nerfs based on the god that you are um, worshipping. Like when I was working with um, Intangible on Fortraft, I really was I was making a drowned god <laughs> and its altar was under the water and um, I had things based on that like the ability to breathe underwater uh, and the, the ability to suffocate other folks oh, I've got hardcore darkness by the way <laughs> Kami was nutty I loved Kami Absolute darkness. Yeah. You can tweak it, I think. I don't know whether I want to tweak it, though. You guys are in a really precarious situation. You're not really mountain goats. To be honest. Yeah. You've kind of just realized your situation, haven't you? Yeah. Well, good luck. Boys? Boys? Boys. <laughs> Well, there's, um, there's a breed of uh, cows which the boys and girls have the same sized horns, actually. I can't remember which breed it is, though. Ah, uh, no, but you do have straw golems. At the moment. Uh, and there's electro bobs. And bewitchment. I'm just trying to find a new biome. <laughs> Here we go. Because the swamp wasn't working out for uh, spawns. And that makes sense because I made the new spawns in that biome really low. That's kind of derpy, but I don't know what to do about it. Because there's only one size of ash block, right? And this is wood after all, so... Yeah, Electro Bobs has kind of silently snuck up on everyone um, in terms of goodness. I remember checking it out really early on and it being kind of um, jank and I was like, ah, I'm going to dismiss this. I need to get out of that habit, actually. Um, and I dismissed it and then, you know, a couple of months later it started shining. Hey, Nerva. Hi, Arcusbach. Hi, Daniel. Just making sure I've said hi to the people that I haven't. Oh, here we go. Dryad. See? Monster girl, that makes sense. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> oh, Ailia, I wish I was able to stay for the whole thing there. I really do. Getting up at four in the morning was taking its toll. Oh, Tobias didn't make it. Oh, I've I've just really loved the new stuff with Astral. Um he keeps posting little uh, tidbits of the work that's going on, and it just looks amazing. And it's so nice that the piano sounds are gone. <laughs> I 
Were you the only death near? Yeah, true Kiwi. I feel like there's a lot of um, pressure for tech mods to have the, the basics, you know, like it's pressure to have the, the ore doubling and pressure to have some form of power transfer and so on and so forth. Sorry, Aroch. But Aroch would have followed um, Tobias to the ends of the earth anyway, right? Yes, IE was a big breath of fresh air. Um, is, was, is. I don't know what the situation with IE is going into the new versions of Minecraft. Oh, a planes, here we go. This will surely, surely have more proof of my awesomeness. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah. Definitely. My only problem is there's no dynamic trees for abyssal craft trees and abyssal craft trees were always ugly <laughs> so <laughs> just just something goblin hello goblin it's a grimoire That circle was just um, random uh, Abyssalcraft structure generation. It doesn't actually do anything. It just looks cool. And is a source of Abyssal stone early. If you want to look at it that way. Oh, thank you, Oko. Main focus of this pack, high fantasy grind. Um, it, and not grind in like a um, Dungeons and Dragons and Space Shuttles kind of way. Grind as in a like um, <sighs> Terra Firma Craft kind of way. So everyone's been talking about Goblin Slayer. Uh, Can y'all hear that? There's a cicada who has decided to land right in my window. Let me go chase it away. Anyway. heard me coming and it was like not nah, not dealing with that because I tend to talk low volume anyway I've got the um, sensitivity of the mic quite high up so everyone gets to hear everything that happens in my world dogs barking you betcha how cute these dudes are. See, this is why I love I have a love-hate relationship with Grimoire of Gaia 3 because dudes like this are awesome for mod packs. It's just the whole um, monster girl thing picks, uh, turns people off. Nice mount. Anything inside? I think that is a um Uh, uh, come on, brain. 
a mystical world mound, which new Bandius's um, partner designed these mounds. They're yeah, very cool. And it reminds me of the start. That's a chest under there. And it reminds me of the start of um, Dark Souls. <laughs> In there with the water and the... What's it? Ooh. I'm excited. New models. Uh Okay, well, in in general, um if I let's just go over the eggs that way that ant worker has been removed. I'm set day. I'm not gonna do the game rule because um I'm not gonna be hanging around in the game much longer. I'm going to be working on some dropped stuff. I have seen the snail, yeah. Well, this is the ant worker. Seems kind of unnecessary to be monster girl. Uh, so she's not there. Uh, Anubis isn't there. Um, Arachne is because a drider is a well-known um, as a well-known monster. Uh, Banshee is, same reason, well-known monster. Baphomet isn't, uh, and this is actually because uh, Baphomet is in Bewitched, so um, Honeybee isn't in unnecessary monster girl um behinder is because the behinder is awesome <laughs> this is what i mean there's so much cool stuff in grimoire of gaia 3. uh bone knight is don't need to show you guys everything campsite is just a way to spawn multiple dwarves cecilia is probably the only monster girl i've kept because of like it looks cool it's an octopus girl she will spawn in oceans centaur is not a necessary monster girl excuse me <laughs> um chest is chest is just a mimic um Cobble Golem is, Cobble Stone Golem is, Creep is, Cyan Flower isn't, uh, Death Word is, Dampier isn't, uh, Dryad is, Doolahan isn't, excuse me? My mouse is still doing that thing and that's very annoying. Doolahan. Unnecessary Monster Girl. An actual Dullahan would be really cool. Well, if you manage to sneak up on a mimic, you can quote unquote open it with just one tap. See you, Nerevar. Thank you for dropping in. Um, but if it sees you, it becomes a nasty enemy that you have to fight. Dwarf is. Dragon Girl isn't. Uh, Ender Eye is. Flesh Lich is. Gelatinous Slime is. Goblins. Grave Might is. Griffin is. Harpy is. Because again, Harpy is a monster girl that makes sense. Oh, it's a baby Harpy. There we go. Harpies show up in planes, which is why I was hoping that they would show up when. Uh, <laughs> Um, 
Those are hippogriffs. There's no griffins in Ice and Fire. They do have hippogriffs though. Uh, where are we? Happy wizard is. Happy wizards are cute. <laughs> um, wild horse does. Hunter isn't. Uh, incinerator does. Incinerator is awesome. This is. These are like the ones that I'm like, wow. Why? Why do you have to put everyone off? He's got a flamethrower powered by a blaze. Uh, Inquisitor is. Ah! If you're wondering what's wrong with my mouse, I need to get some sandpaper. The right button grinds against the um, scroll wheel. Thank you, General Stukov. Thank you very much. Uh, Kikimura isn't. There we go, let's done it again. Um, Kobold isn't. Mantego isn't. Mermaid isn't. Minotaur is. Big boy Minotaur boy. Minotaurus isn't. Cyclops isn't. Um, also, Cyclops another unnecessary monster girl. Um, same with Mummy, unnecessary monster girl. Nugget is. These guys show up in the swamp. Yeah, exactly, Vasir. A lot of people don't know that all this stuff exists in Grimoire Gaia 3. Because they go onto the page and they're like, oh no, it's a waifu mod. Nine Tails isn't, Oni isn't, Orc is. Uh, Satyrus isn't, Elki isn't, Shaman is, Int isn't, Shaco is. Siren isn't. Siren isn't actually just because ice and fire sirens exist, right? So no point in doubling up, especially when the ice and fire ones have better um, implementation. Sludge Girl isn't. Sphinx isn't. Spriggan is. Again, appropriate. Uh, Spalling is. Falling's just a tiny little mushroom man. Succubus is. Makes sense. Um, Toad isn't. Valkyrie is. You saw Valkyrie before. Ancient phases are. Vampire is. Vampire is probably the only one where I'm like, this just has to stay because of how dang awesome it is. Um, I'm going to make it night for this. Uh, I'm set night. Take a night vision potion. Right. She's a tier three enemy and the model is just heck and cool and she has cool attacks and it's fun to fight her. So she gets to stay. Um, where cat isn't, which is, where the cow is, and Yeti is, and Yuki Ona isn't. Although I know the Yuki Ona could possibly be, um, or is definitely a, uh, so she's from a Japanese fable. She's kind of like an ice spirit. That drags men into a wintry grave. But I've kind of decided we've got enough monster girls, even with the number that I've kept. <laughs> it's 
So that's what I've done to Grimoire of Gaia to kind of like, you know, make it neat. Yeah, ghosts. These ghosts are from um, the Witchman. Where'd they go? <laughs> I guess it makes sense for ghosts to just vanish. Yeah, de-waifu it, basically. Make the roster a little more based on uh, fantasy and mythology rather than waifuism. Ah, red portal is midnight. Yeah, there's a ghost. A witch mint ghost. Uh, where'd red portal go? Over here? There it is. This takes us to the midnight. Midnight. Normally you don't want to volunteer to go to the midnight. <laughs> Although once you geared up, you uh, could want to go to the midnight and that's that's quite all right. Um, midnight is a scary place. Uh, even scarier when you not have night vision on. And um, you're normally dragged in by these guys. Rifters. They snaffle you up. You are not voluntarily pulled into this place. <laughs> um, I want to make the midnight a lot more dangerous, so I think I'm going to tweak the mobs from the midnight to be a lot more dangerous. Um... As in a, you don't want to go here until quite a bit later. Oh, these guys are cool. We've also got um, Fisher's Undead Mobs, which is quite new. Undead Rising, sorry. Which is quite new, but it's got some cool mobs in it. We've got Orcs spawning. One's an Orc Shaman. Got a evil wizard. From Electro Bobs. I'm probably going to be thinning out the difficult mobs because, again, I want it to be a little more terra firma craft. So I don't want like every night to be hiding in a cave kind of thing. I want. So I need to turn down dragon bones. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I'm probably going to turn down a lot of the mob spawning. And this is where I come back to a comment I made as we started up the um, instance. Uh, I have some ideas of what I want to do, and I think I'm pretty much going to kill all of the mob spawning, all of the natural mob spawning via their mods. I'm going to turn all the mobs off, and then I'm going to use in control to spawn them. Yeah, because the spells get added to the enchantment book roster. Um, loot table, sorry. I didn't know I had to mod uh, the pretzel, pre 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 pretzel rocks. What? what? And I'm just using the basic um, bot moderator creature. I might actually chew your ear off after the stream and um, ask you like what are the basics of having a good stream set up <laughs> so I'm winging it hi Joel right Stukov I don't know how to whitelist with the default Twitch bot. Uh, that's what I like. That's what I mean by I'm just winging it. This is all stuff that I'm very quickly going to learn over the week, though, I'm sure. Black dogs from Bewitchment. This would all be a lot more spooky, normally. Um, that's probably because there's less of them. Kiwi, but also I know they've done a lot of work to make their AI more tick friendly. 
that flying mob was a dragon. Oh, it's a drake. It's a baby dragon. Aw, oh, thank you, Joel. Thank you so much. Thank you for the shamrocks. Baby dragon. Or a teenage dragon. Yeah, default everything at the moment, Preacher. Um, default everything, and that's what I mean by I might chew your hair off, because um, I'm sure you have some great uh, tips and tricks in terms of a basic setup. I'm a bit overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that I can customize on Twitch, to be honest, but um, I'm sure I'll get used to it. Fire and Ice is way more stable now. Way, 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 way more stable. We already have community servers running, Kiwi. Myself and the Mischief, we um, combined forces. Oh, for this? Yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to complete this, my man. Um, I would love to, but uh, I'm kind of just using this as a project in the meantime while I wait for... Um, the modding environment over on the new versions to settle down and I am predicting 116 is going to be that version but we'll see fine you know what uh, deal with that Minecraft alright 9090 true Uh, Monday to Friday from, uh, and I'm, I'm just going to use my times here, um, from 11am till 1pm, and then I take a break for an hour, and then I come back at 2pm and uh, go until 5. So it'll be a six hour stream day, Monday to Friday. It'll be two days of the week, which I do a night stream. On the night stream days there won't be a day stream um, and that's to get my other half of the audience and they will be from 8 p.m. until 12 I do preacher yeah uh, but that's how the schedule is looking right now the only reason why I haven't got a link or anything to that is because I haven't um, decided if that's like a hundred percent what we're going with because this is literally the first day of the new job so to speak <laughs> um because if you haven't heard this air i'm moving on from youtube uh youtube just ain't doing it for me anymore the um the way content is produced for youtube really like stresses me out and then on top of that there's the meta game of youtube which I don't want to play um, in order to, to have channel growth and I want to move on from that. Um, we'll probably do a month trial preacher um, and see how it goes uh, and like I'm feeling great about today we'll see by the end of the week right um <laughs> so right I think I've done enough faffing around in the world I think I'm actually going to start looking at uh what I needed to look at in terms of Ooh, dropped I need to do some stuff to make uh underground biomes work with pyrotech nicely nice early there's still going to be some issues with pyrotech in the end um well ubc and pyrotech 
So we will, yeah, we'll just leave you running because I might need to do some references. So it dropped. Where are you? Where did I put you? Here. So we're going to be doing a Zen script for this. I haven't done dropped in a while, so I don't know it off by heart. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, to show you what I've done so far in terms of tweaking, this is the very first thing I've done in terms of tweaking is I've added um, rock versions, rock items of each of the underground biome rocks. Um, so I need now to get the underground biomes blocks to drop those rocks instead of the cobblestone um, based on certain values because they will drop <laughs> let me show you how uh, pyrotech does it so we'll grab some stone because that's currently working and we'll grab a pickaxe and we're going to grab one that's fairly low in power flint bone crude um grab bone pickaxe we'll go into survival if I break this stone, it drops uh, these stone rocks, which I use to make crude stuff. Oh, she's coming for me. No. <laughs> no, lady. Sorry. Not happening. Why can't I hit you? Might need to chill out her armor values actually because they're going to be a pretty common mob and this is an iron sword doing one damage so right anyway uh where were we if i get a more impressive pickaxe say a diamond pickaxe because that's one everyone knows and loves go back to get survival Uh, ooh, there's some lag going on. It drops cobblestone. Oh, she's a big girl. Oh boy. You must have, there must have been a, uh, or a male boy. Um, there must have been a, uh, tier fives on the overworld we're taking a look at this I don't even see a well there's one over there which the dragon is missing from explains one of them. I don't know how they got out. Ooh, ice and fire. That's a new shape too. They used to just be one big dome, but that's three little domes. Yeah, the tier, tier fives aren't meant to be able to get on the overworld for very good reason. Oh, and this is where the other one came from? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. That's terrifying, as you say, Kiwi. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> We're just going to go over this way now. Just, you know, we're gonna just go over this way. Right, okay, so, um, so what I was basically trying to explain is that the uh, stones are meant to drop rocks if you don't have a strong enough pick, 
and cobblestone if you do have a strong enough pick. I can't really blame them, no. It didn't make much sense for me um, in the beginning to have giant caves that had no entrance or exit to have the tier 5s in them, but... Uh, It mechanically made sense. <laughs> Keep them the heck out of... The... The what? Uh, sure. I'm not doing that. If I'm... If I try... Is that because I'm spectator? Is that a spectator thing? It's a spectator thing, okay. Oh! Panicking. I was like, is my whole instance just... collapsing? Right. So, where were we? Dropped. Dropped. Pyrotech. And I like to do my scripts like this so that when people are viewing my scripts they can go okay so this is where things are happening because um, I hate it when mod pack authors are putting everything in one script and going this is everything and you don't know where some parts of a mod are and other parts aren't but here you can look you can just read the name so Content Tweaker, Pyrotech Rocks, Dropped, Pyrotech mo Rocks. Um, so, Dropped. I'd love to t do this. Okay. So this is the reference I'm going to be using. Now that you've seen the reference, I'm going to stick it over here on the other monitor. <laughs> so that I can work on it here. Port mods Dropped. Out. No, how do you? Um, turns a new ready to configure list of object. Subsequent calls with the same name will return the same list object. Is there just like an example? <laughs> Basic replacement. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Dropped. Dot list. Uh, what will you be called? You will be called. Will be called. Neurotech. Will you? I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna have to do this per item. So. Uh, rock. Score and decide. Dot add. Dot. Dot rule. Dot match. Blocks. Underground biomes on igneous stone three. Underground biomes, igneous stone. Now this example doesn't. Okay, it is. It is. Never mind. It's exactly like that. Or a different example, and that works. <laughs> Add drop Ooh. Add drop 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 What the heck? Stop that. Uh, 
items. Um, content tweaker, rock, and a site. Yes, that makes perfect sense because that's what I did. Other than the content tweaker bit. It's like. Oh, but this one you want it in brackets. And you go like that, and you like that. I'm very confused about this. The layout. So that's the bracket for that one. Yeah. Okay. 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 All good. All good. Everything's fine. So this literally should now work. Um, we're going to do a syntax check though. Syntax. Uh, oh. Expect that. Yeah. That don't make sense though. I'm gonna make this all one line. read these That one's for that one. That one's for that one. That one's end. I don't think I need another one. Yeah. All accounted for. I think. This looks, apart from my own additions, this looks exactly the same as the example text. What if I just literally just do this? Hang on. <laughs> Uh, 
Maybe actually we'll do this. Yeah. Oh. There it is. <laughs> uh, there it is. Yep, okay, cool. Fine. Right, let's get out of here, reload it. I want to make sure this is working. And then once I know it's working, I can start working on the... Uh... I did not. Oh, I did. Never mind. Hi, carrier type. A for one twelve. Reloading every time. This will be less frequent once I actually have an idea of how each rock is going to be, and then I can just copy them anyway. I am using uh, Sublime Text as an unregistered copy, but that's fine because it works. It just asks you to pay for it every so often when you're saving. So if I save a bunch of times, it should pop up at some point with, hey, do you want to... Okay, maybe it doesn't do it for the same file. Never mind. Hey, studs. Long time no see. I've used Sublime Text since I saw Dark Oster using it. I think it's way better than what I was using, which was uh, Notepad++. And I have a Zen script add-on, by the way, which is why it's highlighted properly. Here we go. I click downloading. <laughs> yeah, Stubbs. Uh, oh, that's a whole thing, my man. You find me at a moment of weakness. As you do, or oh, it's struggling. Eh, 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 eh. And there we go. Okay. Right. Is that toggle downfall? Yeah. Yeah, I've had downfall. Fall of down. Closing and rifts and burning zombies. All right. That's the end of sight. It's uh, there should be no special tool stuff, so I should just be able to use any old pick right now. Check this. Uh, game mode survival. That's not promising. <laughs> That's not promising at all. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Ah, yeah, now I got cancelled. Right. 
There needs to be a version of survival mode where you're still invincible. One fourteen sucks. End of story. Um, it's got massive bugs with it that aren't Forge's fault. Um, and so I personally don't want to use one fourteen. I don't want to put the effort into one fourteen when one fourteen is um, busted from day one. One fifteen two would be wonderful, but one fifteen two is under the shadow of one sixteen, so no mod developers are modding for it. Yeah, that's right, Kiwi. One four one fourteen is busted, just totally busted. Um, what was I doing? I was checking drops. So why weren't you dropping? So look at the console. Whoa. Hello. Tried to overfill a container, how dare you? Iconic evolution. Did I? Oh. Hilarious. Good joke. Will it? Has 117 been announced yet? One fifteen two fixed all the performance and stuff. One fifteen two is wonderful, and I would have loved for developers to move to one fifteen two. However, no one wants to because they're all waiting for one sixteen. See you, Nanny, and thank you for taking the time to drop in. But I know that uh, you had to squeeze in some hours there. I agree, Kiwi. We need to pick as a community a, a version to settle on. Yeah, but the problem there, my course, is Flower Child was a dickhead about it. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't have to be a dickhead about it. There's a difference between being a dickhead and being blunt. That's why Flower Child was um, ostracized from the community. Because he wasn't blunt, he was a dickhead. Stukov? That's a... That's a question I don't know the answer to. Because <laughs> I... I Greatly agree. 115 was bees, it was also a massive um, bug fix. So it was basically fixing all the issues when, with 114. It's basically a fantastic update and I love it. 116 adds the nether stuff that they've, they've integrated. So they've added new biomes to the nether and stuff like that. And because people like stuff, um, people want 116 because it has stuff.
I don't think Fabric has that much uh, input on Mojang's um, update cycle. <laughs> Right, so how do I detect why this isn't working? At Indesight. It must be the way that I implemented this. So did I spell it wrong or something? Underground biomes, all spelt correctly. Igneous stone. Oh, I put igneous rock. It's igneous stone. Okay. It'll be why. Let's do that again. Well, this whole like issue with Mojang updating super frequently wouldn't be as much of an issue if um, the legal situation with um, mappings would be sorted out by Mojang. It's just Mojang has put no effort into sorting out uh, the mappings issue. And for those that don't know what that is, um, when it comes to Forge uh, breaking down Minecraft's code, it has to... Um, what do you call it? <laughs> it has to extract like the code from the source because uh, they don't have access to the source and then everything's got weird names like it um oh my god my programming knowledge has just vanished from my brain like method names and stuff are, are just a series of numbers and letters uh, and so a mapping is telling forge what those uh, method names actually are so we know what we're doing when it actually comes to to um, implementing code and stuff like that thank you decompile um, and deobfuscate yes thank you um, but the issue is that Mojang said here's all the mappings and they gave us all the mappings but then the legal situation around the mappings wasn't um, stated like Forge could actually get in trouble for using those mappings. So Forge has asked Mojang like six months ago, please tell us like that we are legally, you put it in writing that we are legally able to use these mappings without getting in trouble. And Mojang has just been silent ever since. They said, we'll look into it and then silent. Um, if we knew the actual legal situation around the mappings, then it wouldn't be an issue um, that they are churning out updates all the time. That, uh, wasn't Fabric supposed to help with modding? Um, no. <laughs> it was supposed to help with certain uh demands of modders like m modders who wanted to work on the latest and greatest including working on snapshots that's what fabric was supposed to be um helping however fabric and forge do not work together they're entirely different apis Yeah, Mojang's legal team are dragging their feet like crazy. It's ridiculous. And Mojang's legal team is Microsoft's legal team, so that explains a lot, but it doesn't make things better. <laughs> we, we kind of are, and CPW has been... Um, bugging them and other people have been bugging them and um, actual Mojang contact staff have had to be like our hands are tied we will we'll keep you updated but our hands are tied 
and their updates have been our hands are tied. So. Mojang is pro modding. Um, Mojang itself is pro modding. It's just legal teams in general, uh, legal and PR teams don't really understand what they're working with in terms of like the the social value of the stuff that they work on. So they don't. So somebody tells them, "Hey, can you sort out the legal issue here?" And they're like, "Yeah, okay, I'll put it in my book." Right, and then they forget about it. Step one, it's working. Now we can add the nuance to it. Yeah, tech, tech has the, the right of it. It's you have to remember that all these like companies and stuff are kind of made up of different parts of different companies and like Mojang the studio is all about modding and, and community and all that stuff but then they've got all the Microsoft stuff that they have to go through because they're owned by Microsoft so they have Microsoft's legal team they have Microsoft's PR team they have Microsoft's this and that and um and like it's based on how much those Microsoft things which probably view themselves as more important than Mojang itself um, kind of uh, see the urgency that Mojang does. Right, so let's add some nuance to this. Um, did I close the script? Why did I close the script? All. All of it took. Right. Drop. Force. Forces dropped always drop. i to drag this over here while I'm reading it. Selector, wait, string, silk touch. Is this nonsense? Fantasy. That's what I want to know about. Oh, okay, with the same number of dirt. No, I want new quantity, thank you. Um grass drops? Wildcard leaves, sure.
Varying the fortune is a little tricky than you explain the script is doing. First it adds four drops to the drop pool, of which only one will be selected to drop. The first drop at the top of the list adds a drop that varies between one and two drops. That's all I need. Okay, so that's what I do. So here, we go dropped range. I want between three and six. Three and six. Save and quit. I will do a little more than just that, actually. Or testing it. Ooh, sorry for bumping the microphone. Okay, so what else do we want to do? We want to do tool restriction. Boop. Okay. When a player harvests any dirt variant with a, without a shovel, drop nothing. Perfect. This bit is doing the heavy lifting for the example. Main hand, blacklist, shovel. What we've done is told drop to match the rule of the main hand item to not blacklist a shovel of a, at least a harvest level zero. Okay, so that's the second number. Harvest level string tells drop match the shovel with a minimum harvest level of zero and a maximum harvest level of minus one. Because it's minus one. Okay. So we're in the... I think I need to drop that here. Dot match harvester. Dropped harvester. Dot type. Player. In hand. You can go there. Thanks. Oh, you want that alignment though. Which is weird, but okay. And I know it doesn't have to look like that, it can look like how I want it to look, but I'm just going to do it like this for now, so there's no... Um, misunderstanding. Blacklist. My issue is Is it pick or is it pickaxe? <laughs> uh, let's look at harvester Bring you back across so you know what I'm doing Harvester Main hand Yeah, yeah, all oh, good. What are we're doing this one?
Is it? I just went past it, I think. It's pickaxe, okay. See you, Kiwi. Thank you for dropping in. Zero. So I want this stuff to happen between zero and three. Pickaxe with the harvest level between zero and three. Anything more than that, it should at this point drop cobble, hopefully. I wonder whether we'll see how it works <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say there I have a feeling that dropped might say drop nothing um, but there's also a chance that it'll just revert back to its original drop which will be cobblestone in which case great But then that would also include, oh no, oh no. I've seen the folly. Folly, by the way, is if you punched a rock um, until it broke, it would drop cobblestone rather than rocks. All the loading. Yay. 112 modding for you. That's one thing I'm very excited about. 114, 115, 116 is that um, uh, it's back to being able to load scripts on the fly. So you don't have to reload every time you change a script. It's very good. <laughs> it's going to speed up pack development like nobody's business. That's why the technique these days is to try and fit in as much as you can without testing it um, before you reload the pack. But then you have multiple things to test if it goes wrong. <laughs> oh, we already have a problem. Chat. Okay, that is the top. Uh, method available, but none matches the parameters. Mod. Really forget the T. Oh, doesn't recognize range either. What? Don't you recognize range though? That's correct. I'm not saying that I have to import anything else. Line five. Right, that's the start of that. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> I'm a dummy. Yeah, I'll do it. Didn't do anything else like that anywhere else, did I? Okay, let's try that again. And this is what I mean. Now we have to reload it again. The developers developed the, the mix-ins for fabric users, that's part of the problem. Because uh, fabric is not conflict averse. Forge the whole benefit of Forge, in my opinion, is that, like, if you want to um, edit something when you're doing Forge API stuff, you have to do stuff that Forge is offering you. Um, whereas in Fabric, you can do anything you want, which means that conflicts are just everywhere if you're not talking to each other as developers. And I get that that's very agile, but it means that once once you start, every time you add a new mod to a fabric pack, you've got a higher and higher chance of there being a un, um, unresolvable conflict. Unless you're willing to um, mod the conflict out yourself. Did save that, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's promising. There's no immediate errors. Yeah, here, portal. Yeah, but the, the problem is always the same regardless of what game you're doing it with here, Stubbs, which is that does whatever's providing the mod loading, does it provide structure or does it allow you to just do whatever the hell you want? And in which case, um, conflict averse or conflict um, forward. Bubble. It might be working how I thought it would. Oh, well that's not promising. <laughs> just totally uh, ignored this. But why? Go back to the example they were giving. Tool restriction. That's because it was a long time ago. Like the development of 113 Forge was over a year.
This bit is doing the heavy lifting for this example. We've done is told drop to match this rule. If the main hand item is not blacklist, I don't see a not symbol in here. I guess that's just how it's done. The shovel harvest level string tells drop to match the shovel with a minimum harvest level of zero and a maximum harvest level of minus one. Then simply inverse that with the blacklist type. Finally, we tell drop that when this rule matches, replace all drops with nothing. see what's happened. Damn it. Okay. Oh, it's all this junk. I get an andesite. And I break this andesite with literally anything else. Or not. <laughs> How about we actually use a tool for this test? But a stone axe. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do our own cowboy test here and we're gonna reload <laughs> oh 113 is a disaster yeah um forge was never meant to be ready for 113 ever they never had a um release version Forge's rewrite was officially, uh, the first release was for 114, the official first release. You have missed a lot, S-dubs, I've realized. <laughs> what you been doing with your time? One fifteen two is a fantastic version and I really, really wish that um, Forge had made the executive decision to make that the long-term, uh, uh, what's the term, LTS? Long-term strategy. That sounds like a lot of work, dude. I'm sure your nan is super lucky to have you. Play zeros. Ow. Did 
does your nan require full-time care? Then she is very lucky to have you. Maybe try with the in there. Nothing much of us here. <laughs> Just trying to get the um, drop stuff to work. Uh, again, am I in the? I am in the right game mode. Grab a bunch of five. Yep. You always dropping six. You are always dropping six. Wimes is that? So hello, Nugget. Gone. I'm losing track of which game mode I'm in. Would you always be six when I have said between three and six? Leave me alone. <laughs> you weren't spawning before when I was trying to show everyone how cool you were. Three and six. Yeah, that's right. 114 is tragic. But that's Mojang's fault, not Forge's or Fabric's. Is this not working? Why is this not working? Time to look at the documentation. Range. value, random value, and define range, fortune modified, they're both. And we'll look at both then. Oh, that's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. It does, I'm just being dumb. <laughs>
Fortune 1, 4 and 8. Fortune 2, 16 and 32. We're not interested in that line because we're not dealing with weight. What else doing? Samples doing range. Full. Range. Turns a range object with fixed value from it. None of this is helpful. <laughs> I might have to uh, actually chat to Taylor in Discord. a range object with a minimum and maximum value. That's the one we're using. Yeah, how can I position that? We're using this one here. But it's acting as if it's doing this one. confusing. Still, you should, uh, do as suggested, make it peaceful. <laughs> That was three. What? Five. Six. Uh, what? I'm so confused right now. Was it just complete fluke that I was getting six every time? Big X. Six. Three. Five. Five. Four. Five. So that's all good. But I was using the bone pick before. One, two, five, six. Four. 
RNG was trolling me. It made me think I was going insane. This is working perfectly. And it's not because of the pickaxe, because I've gone back to using the bone pickaxe, which is the one that I was using in the first place. I was just get it rolling six every time. <laughs> I mean, mathematically that can happen. That is something that can happen. Oh, I got trolled hard. Wow, okay. The issue now is though, um, harvest level. I don't think three is the harvest level, that's the damage level, right? I have to do some uh, Minecraft pickaxe harvest label. The heck is M Creator? I've never heard of M Creator. So is this how many? Zero, one, two, three? Which means diamond shouldn't be dropping that. Uh, I've never heard of M MC Creator, no. Not once, not ever. So I, this is where we do another random stab in the dark. I'm going to say like from zero to one. Because I'm guessing one is like any stone or worse tool. Okay. No, I'd never heard of it. I guess that's, uh, oh, pardon me. I guess that's where all the um, obsidian mods come from. The 500th version of Obsidian Tools. Okay, we're probably going to check how this has turned out. Um... Hey, big man, Hawk. Astro, you turned up at the perfectly wrong time. Because <laughs> so I was just about to say, we're going to check how this is going to go, and then I'm going to check, um, and then I'm probably going to go on my lunch break, and then I'll be back in an hour. Um, because it's, uh, 12.56.
Oh, I'm sure MC Creator is great for learning how things work. It's, there's nothing wrong with that, it's just uh, me poking fun at um, emerald and obsidian mods, dirt diamonds, etc. Alright, so the test now, use a bone pick, we get rocks, we use a diamond pick, we get cobble, hey, <laughs> we use a bone pick, we get rocks, we use a diamond pick, we get cobble, we've done it, we've done it, actually done it. Now, it's just about copying this a thousand bloody times <laughs> and changing all these, these three. And then we'll have all our um, UBC rocks. Anyway. It is 12.59, um, I am going to go on my lunch break, and I will see you all in an hour if you uh, care to join me, where we'll fix all this up, we'll get it done, and then we'll play something else. What? I don't know, I'll think about that over my lunch break. All right, see y'all soon.